nice warm country. So I was running around in my shorts outside earlier. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, it's the first time I've ever been here in Norway. It's uh, looks like a beautiful country. I can see under the snow. That's uh, uh, great, and it's a pleasure. And like you probably told you, I had, I had a hell of a life. Okay. I was very, very lucky when I got drafted in the Army in 1958. I'm from Chicago, and uh, I was so upset when I got drafted. I, didn't, I was only 20 years old, and I was just so mad that the Army just took me away from my work. But anyway, I guess it was meant to be, because that's how I found Elvis. I would have never met him if it wasn't for me being drafted. And I went over to Germany, and uh, he followed me to Germany. I went forward in Texas first. He followed me there. I went to. Friedberg, Germany, outside of Frankfurt, he followed me there. And then uh, I saw him around the base, and I never bothered him. But then I was invited to go play football with him, American football. He used to play football on the weekends with his friends, so I went. And uh, he had a house he rented for his dad, Vernon, and his grandmother, uh, many of them, to come over and, while he was there in Germany and someplace to stay and he could see, see them and all that. So uh, but I went over to his house, and I walked into his house, and he walked straight over to me, and he said, Hi, I know Elvis Presley. Like, I didn't know who he was. <laughs> but, but that's the kind of guy he was, though. He was, a very, he was such a gentleman, and I told everybody this story. The minute I shook his hands and I looked in his eyes, and he had that little beautiful smile he has on his face, I knew we were going to be friends from that time on. And that's how it happened. And I was with him all the way till he passed away. And I was so damn lucky in my life. It was so amazing. He was the nicest man in the world, so generous, and he would help anybody if they had a problem, total strangers, anything. He was just one of a kind. He had an aura about him that you, you can't explain it. You had to meet him. Once you met him, you, you can't help but love the man. I mean, that's the truth. Anybody will tell you that. I remember Frank Sinatra when Elvis first came out. He said, oh, this kid will never make it. He'll never make it in the business. He's not that good, you know. But, but then when Frank met him, when we got to the service, when we did Frank Sinatra special, but when, when Frank met him, he was Elvis' friend from that point on. We would stay in touch. He was always seeing the shows and everything. So that's why I say that's what Elvis had. Anyway, tonight, we've got a great tribute going on tonight. Dennis J. will come up with this show. He does a great job. He doesn't impersonate Elvis, he sings Elvis' songs, and he does great work, and he got the TCB band, all my old friends for many years.